experience with the services were actually always positive. It, it was um, amazing how how much help you receive in, in, in short notice, um, especially from international services. That, that was that was really nice. If you have questions, you can you get helped uh, immediately. Um, the cafeteria was very nice. Even if you have questions there, they, they help you. Um, so. Um, the dormitory is also very nice. There is this dormitory manager and, and if you can reach him in his room, you just call him and he is there in five minutes. It's, it's crazy. It's just the people are very helpful. So we have an international dormitory and it's just great. You're there with about like, I don't know, 100 or 50 international students. Anyway, you're there with a lot of international students and you'll basically never be alone because there's always people that you get to know and you make friends for a lifetime. What I really enjoyed, at the, let's say, at the beginning of the year, because there was much warmer weather and it was a lot easier to do outdoor stuff. It was so nice within the first month, it was like every week there was something organized for us students, which made us like come together a lot easier, of course. I met a lot of people through those activities and I think that, w that was just brilliant. Yeah, well, when I arrived here, um, I had uh, a tutor. Even before I arrived here, I contacted her, although she contacted me first. Um, and she told me immediately, like, if I had any questions, uh, I could come to her and she would help me immediately. And, and that was definitely true, because every moment I texted her, it's like within five minutes, I had an answer. It's very nice that, that you have a contact person. Because there's a lot of activities you should join. There's just so much to do. Yusin is organizing a lot of stuff. Osaka is organizing a lot of stuff. So you don't have to worry about having nothing to do because your uh, agenda will be filled anyway. Uh, also, there are mostly student events every other week. Uh, try, to, try to attend as many as you can. <laughs> like a really big percentage of the students also go to the activities. And so you kind of get this really like nice group that's always always there and yeah the first few events we had posted were sold out with we had one that was it was posted and within uh, less than a minute it had sold out completely that everyone wanted to go so there's there's that high level of activity there yeah the school is is totally different the cafeteria is like amazing um, you can never ever find a meal for 88 cents in Belgium, that's just not possible <laughs> for this. And it's also a very good meal, so that's, that's totally different. And in terms of unions, um, I think the, the, the coolest trip was the YSN one, the Pirates of the Baltic Sea trip. Recommend 100% anybody who's coming to Olu go at that trip, it's awesome. How was it? 2,500 Erasmus students on a cruise ship. What could go wrong? The parties and the events organized. Oh. Yeah. Can we show it? We've got the overalls and we love it. This is like... <laughs> These are the badges. You? But a lot of events, a lot of um, taking care of students. I mean, the whole organization of um, meeting the students, having a tutor, introducing you to the, to the dorm and to the student life. I don't think we have something like that, or I haven't heard about it, so it's a really student-friendly city, I think.